Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is What is democracy? Why democracy? Question number one. The word democracy comes from the Greek word dash. Option A. Demoskurati. Option B. Demokratia. Option C. Democracia. Option D. Kresha. The correct answer is Option B. Demokratia. The word democracy comes from a Greek word demokratia. In Greek demos means people and kresha means rule. So democracy is ruled by the people. Question number 2. Democracy is government of the people, by the people and for the people is said by whom? Option A. Adolf Hitler. Option B. Robert Mugabe. Option C. Abraham Lincoln. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option C. Abraham Lincoln. Democracy is government of the people, by the people and for the people is said by Abraham Lincoln. Question number 3. What kind of government is there in Myanmar? Option A. Monarchy. Option B. One party rule. Option C. Army rule. Option D. Elected by the people. The correct answer is Option C. Army rule. The army rulers of Myanmar are not elected by the people. Those who happen to be in control of the army become the rulers of the country. Question number 4. How many members are elected to the National People's Congress from all over China? Option A. 3000. Option B. 3100. Option C. 3200. Option D. 4000. The correct answer is. Option A. 3000. In China, elections are regularly held after every five years for electing the country's parliament, called National People's Congress. The National People's Congress has the power to appoint the president of the country. It has nearly 3,000 members elected from all over China. Some members are elected by the army. Question number 5. In a democracy the final decision-making power must rest with whom? Option A. Those who are in military. Option B. Those elected by the people. Option C. The head of the state. Option D. The king. The correct answer is Option B. Those elected by the people. In a democracy the final decision-making power must rest with those elected by the people. Question number 6. Which party always won elections in Mexico since its independence in 1930 until 2000? Option A. Mexican Revolutionary Party. Option B. Institutional Revolutionary Party. Option C. Socialist Revolutionary Party. Option D. Institutional Party. The correct answer is. Option B. Institutional Revolutionary Party. After gaining independence in 1930, Mexico holds elections after every six years to elect its president. The country has never been under a military or dictator's rule. But until 2000 every election was won by a party called PRI, Institutional Revolutionary Party. Opposition parties did contest elections, but never managed to win. Question number 7. Who is the president of Zimbabwe? Option A. Adolf Hitler. Option B. Robert Mugabe. Option C. Abraham Lincoln. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe attained independence from white minority rule in 1980. Since then the country has been ruled by ZANU-PF.
the party that led the freedom struggle. Its leader, Robert Mugabe, has been ruling the country since independence. Question number 8. Democracy must be based on Option A. Coalition Option B. Free and fair election Option C. One-party system Option D. All the above The correct answer is Option B. Free and fair election. A democracy must be based on a free and fair election where those currently in power have a fair chance of losing. Question number 9. One person, one vote means. Option A. All person must vote for one person. Option B. Each person has one vote and each vote has one value. Option C. Each person can vote only once in his life. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. Each person has one vote and each vote has one value. Democracy is based on a fundamental principle of political equality. In a democracy, each adult citizen must have one vote and each vote must have one value. Question number 10. In which country women do not have the right to vote? Option A. Saudi Arabia. Option B. Fiji. Option C. Estonia. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option A. Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia women do not have the right to vote. Question number 11. Why democracy is better than other forms of government? Option A. It helps in taking right decisions at right time. Option B. It allows us to correct its own mistakes. Option C. It guarantees that mistakes cannot be made in democracy. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option B. It allows us to correct its own mistakes. Democracy is better than other forms of government because it allows us to correct its own mistakes. There is no guarantee that mistakes cannot be made in democracy. No form of government can guarantee that. Question number 12. In which period did China face one of the worst famines that have occurred in the world? Option A. 1948-51. Option B. 1958-61. Option C. 1968-71. Option D. 1978-81. The correct answer is. Option B. 1958-61. China's famine of 1958-1961 was the worst recorded famine in world history. Nearly 3 crore people died in this famine. Question number 13. The most common form that democracy takes in our time is that of. Option A. Unlimited democracy. Option B. Representative democracy. Option C. Direct democracy. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option B. Representative democracy. The most common form that democracy takes in our times is that of a representative democracy. In the countries we call democracy, all the people do not rule. A majority is allowed to take decisions on behalf of all the people. Even the majority does not rule directly. The majority of people rule through their elected representatives. Question number 14. Which organ of the government is required to protect the rights of the citizens? Option A. Executive. Option B. Independent Judiciary. Option C. Legislature. Option D. Army. The correct answer is. Option B. Independent Judiciary. Each citizen should be free to think, to have opinions. To express these in public, to form associations, 
to protest and take other political actions. Everyone should be equal in the eyes of law. These rights must be protected by an independent judiciary whose orders are obeyed by everyone. Question number 15. Which of these is an example of perfect democracy? Option A. USA. Option B. France. Option C. India. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option D. None of the above. No country is a perfect democracy. The features of democracy that we discussed in this chapter provide only the minimum conditions of a democracy. That does not make it an ideal democracy. Question number 16. Which body in Indian political system is an example of direct democracy? Option A. Municipal Corporation. Option B. Panchayat Samiti. Option C. Gram Sabha. Option D. Legislative Assembly. The correct answer is Option C. Gram Sabha. If the community is small, there can be other ways of taking democratic decisions. All the people can sit together and take decisions directly. This is how Gram Sabha should work in a village. Question number 17. A democratic government is better than a non-democratic government because Option A. It may and can respond to the people's needs. Option B. It fulfill all the wish of people. Option C. It is a more accountable form of government. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option C. It is a more accountable form of government. Democracy is better than any other form of government in responding to the needs of the people. A non-democratic government may and can respond to the people's needs, but it all depends on the wishes of the people who rule. If the rulers don't want to, they don't have to act according to the wishes of the people. A democracy requires that the rulers have to attend to the needs of the people. A democratic government is a better government because it is a more accountable form of government. Question number 18. Choose the drawbacks of democracy are. Option A. Instability and delays. Option B. Politicians fighting among themselves. Option C. Corruption. Option D. All the above. The correct answer is Option D. All the above. Arguments against democracy are Leaders keep changing in a democracy. This leads to instability. Democracy is all about political competition and power play. There is no scope for morality. So many people have to be consulted in a democracy that it leads to delays. Elected leaders do not know the best interest of the people. It leads to bad decisions. Democracy leads to corruption for it is based on electoral competition. Ordinary people don't know what is good for them. They should not decide anything. Question number 19. Choose the principle that can be applied to any sphere of life. Option A. Debate. Option B. One person, one vote. Option C. Democracy. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option C. Democracy. A democratic decision involves consultation within consent of all those who are affected by that decision. Those who are not powerful have the same say in taking the decision as those who are powerful. This can apply to a government or a family or any other organization. Thus democracy is also a principle that can be applied to any sphere of life. Question number 20. Zimbabwe attained independence from whom? Option A. From white majority rule. Option B. From white minority rule. Option C. From Americans. Option D. From British rule. The correct answer is Option B. 
from white minority rule. Zimbabwe attained independence from white minority rule in 1980. Since then the country has been ruled by ZANU-PF, the party that led the freedom struggle. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.